Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because today we are going to be testing out the new Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. I have been waiting to do this for you guys. I've been waiting for this foundation for myself and I cannot wait to share my thoughts with you. So if you want to see how the foundation works out, then just keep watching. Okay, so sorry for the loud fan, but it is so hot in my house. Um, so I got the shade uh, 160C, uh, which is described as a, a cool golden undertone. Um, I've never went with like a cool foundation because I have olive skin. Um, it's usually like warm, but I guess that's what makes it too yellow. So I'm really excited to see um, if this is going to be my perfect shade match or not. Um, so this is one fluid ounce for $38. Uh, this is supposed to be vegan thank goodness, uh, gluten-free, alcohol-free, clinically tested, dermalogic tested, opathologist tested, uh, non-comedogenic, I don't, I don't know what that is, <laughs> suitable for sensitive skin, long wearing, and no flashback. This is also described as a medium coverage foundation with a luminous natural finish. So I'm really, really excited. I cannot wait. I think the packaging is stunning and blinding you guys with all the shininess. <laughs> so you open it up and of course this is what the bottle looks like. It feels really nice and luxurious in the hand. I really enjoy the front. Um, I know it has the big word foundation on the back, which when I saw this online, I thought maybe it was just like a prototype. Um, I didn't actually think this was going to be on here. I think it kind of takes away from the aesthetic of the bottle itself. Um, is it a deal breaker? No. But I can see why they would want to keep it on there because when you're going through your foundations, um, you know, you just, it, it's eye catching. So I get it. Um, and of course, we have the shade name on the bottom. And this is a glass bottle, so I do have to be careful. I'm kind of klutz, so I don't want to drop it and break it. And I really enjoy that it has a pump on here that is phenomenal. I really don't like when they don't have pumps. I know my Maybelline doesn't come with a pump, um, so it's easy to use too much. Now, I am going to be applying this with a beauty blender. Um, I typically use a sponge. I don't really use a brush. All right, so we are going to start with just... I have a lot of redness um, and I usually always start with two pumps so I'm gonna go ahead and just start with two pumps came out really nicely I do already have my primer on um, I went with my benefit no problem primer I use that on every single foundation well that and my touch and soul no problem primer oh wow First of all, let me say that shade match, <laughs> it is probably one of the best shade matches I've had. Wow. Very pretty. All right, I'm not gonna be able to spread that to the other side of my face because I feel like it wouldn't even start to cover the other side so wow the finish of that is really pretty like that's really pretty it looks like my skin Okay, I still have a little bit of redness right here, but we're going to come back to that in just a minute. I want to go ahead to the other side of the face. Using two pumps. know if that one brought out more that time because um, I did two pumps the first time this one seems to have a lot more foundation this round with two pumps I feel like I'm able to spread it even up onto my forehead some yeah this one's giving me a lot more 
coverage uh, as far as putting it all over goes. So it seems like there was more in that pump. I cannot get over the shade. <laughs> I am so freaking impressed with this shade. This is might be my ultimate perfect shade match. Like Maybelline always does uh, with the 118. It's pretty good. Um, but this is like probably even better than that. All right. I'm no. I'm having a little trouble with my smile lines. I don't I guess it's because I'm. I'm still talking. Um, but as I'm applying, it's already creasing. Okay, so I still have, I don't know if you can tell on camera, I still have a little bit of redness here, a little bit of redness here, and just a tiny bit of redness here, which with even my other foundations, um, I have that issue. I'm really used to that just because my redness is like, pretty dark so I'm just going to do a little bit of touching up on those areas it the finish is absolutely beautiful it looks like my skin but so far like I'm really really happy I do see the glow that it's supposed to have the luminous finish um, but it looks like just healthy, glowy skin. It doesn't look greasy. It doesn't look oily. It just, uh, I'm like, I'm in love. Ah, okay. So I'm going to finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm back and I finished putting on my makeup. There's hair all over me. <laughs> all right. So let's take a look at this foundation. I definitely am having a lot of problems with creasing right now. Um, it hasn't even been maybe more than an hour. I know I was goofing off a little bit, a lot when I was putting on my makeup. I have a ton of creasing around my mouth area. I got creasing right here. It has definitely sunken in to the lines of my forehead and I am really, really sad about this. I'm gonna bring you in. Now I did powder around um, my mouth just to try and keep that from happening, but that did not seem to work. So let me bring you in, sorry. Okay, so you can see the creasing here in here and then you can see on my brows um, right in here it has creased really really bad this is after like I said maybe an hour if that and then oops, I don't know if you can see my forehead or not if it's blurring it out I can't really tell off the screen but it has sunken into every single line on my forehead um, look at that look at that Ugh. that is just disheartening okay so i'm gonna zoom you back up oh, not in out 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 i almost don't even want to wear this out just because it's creasing so bad um see i can pat it back in back in and it goes away I just, I don't know, I don't know. I have said it was some sp setting spray and I made sure my face was really, really still while I did that. See, now all of it, okay. Now it's kind of gone, so I'm gonna bring you back in after I re, uh, went back in with the beauty blender. So as you can see, um, I mean, the lines went away. So it looks good again, but I'm just worried that if I start making facial expressions and moving my eyebrows around, um, it's going to crease bad again. Uh, my forehead looks good now that I've found it in. I mean, I can't go, I can't do this all day long. <laughs> so, and then my mouth, I patted it a little bit. Mm. Yeah. It looks great around the nose area. I don't have any issues with that. It's just where um, my lines are. Ooh, I got it in my hair. Not good. Okay, so I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wear it. Okay, so 
I'm gonna go ahead and wear it for the rest of the day we'll see how bad it breaks down and uh, yeah I'll do some check-ins I have to say though this color is perfection it is I need a shade in like every single foundation that I own it's perfect um, so we'll see Ooh, it is bright out here so I just wanted to check the shade um, actually out and about in the sunlight you know because shades can definitely alter um, under the all those bright lights and I could step out into the sun and it'd be completely different so this is what my god I can't see this is what the foundation looks like in the sun and yeah the shade match is still beautiful so you can see there's still that natural glow ah so pretty ah let's see if I can see again hello <laughs> all right I'll see you guys in a bit Hey guys, I'm doing another check-in. So it is 4.30 right now. Let's see, 4.30. Um, it is like <laughs> 100 degrees outside. It is so hot and so humid. Um, but I decided to be out and about. But I kind of wish maybe I wouldn't have because the foundation is now doing something strange to me. Um, the shade 160 is supposed to be for light skin, which I have, um, but it kind of oxidized orange on me. Um, you might not even be able to tell on camera because I had to wipe some of it off because I was a little embarrassed. Um, but let's see, I took a tissue paper to like wipe all kind of like around here and soften it up because it was just orange and I did not want to be that girl going into the state going into the store with an orange face that is just like embarrassing so um let me bring you guys in closer so my smile lines they're not as bad but I have kind of fixed them here and there um these right here they're definitely um starting to show again but I don't know <laughs> I kind of have a love hate relationship with this foundation so far I am in love with the way my skin looks I love the finish I love the glowiness I love that it feels like I have nothing and I mean nothing on my face that is just like amazing usually I can feel my foundation is just a little bit but I literally feel nothing um, the only thing I'm having issues with is the creasing which I might be able to fix that maybe with some powder I don't know if that would help um, because I definitely don't want to continue this throughout the day worry if I'm creasing fixing it get, you know whatever that's just a little bit too much hassle for me um, and the color I don't know like even looking at my chin right now oh my gosh let's look bring in some natural light okay oh, hold on <sighs> hello world all right so this is a little bit of natural light if you can kind of tell um there's definitely a shade difference it oxidized on me um but i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know maybe i should try a lighter shade Maybe that might help. Because I'm already at 160. There's not very many shades underneath that that's going to have this undertone because the undertone of this is perfect. Actually, actually, honestly, if it wouldn't have oxidized at all, then maybe it would still be perfection for me. So, because when I first put it on, um, I did not have that much of a color difference. I did not have the orange face. So, I don't know what's going on. I'll check again with you guys in just a, a little while. So, wish me luck. <laughs> okay guys, so I am doing another check-in. It is almost six o'clock, so I've been wearing this uh, foundation for almost six hours. I put it on around 12. This is probably the best that it has looked. My lines right here um, are not like before. They are not that bad, and I've been doing you know, a lot of karaoke in my car and getting my groove on. So I've been doing a lot of facial expressions and it is not sinking in the lines like it was when I first put it on. I don't know why that is, but it looks really good. I'm gonna try and bring you guys in. I know I'm on my phone, but yeah, the lines are not that bad. And the lines on my forehead are not that bad. Even my smile lines, with as much as my mouth has moved, 
and drank and ate and everything else my smile lines actually look pretty decent um, and this one I can tell a little bit more than this side so I'm just gonna tap that real fast and it's gone so yeah so I will check in with you guys in a little while Hey guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my last check-in. Uh, it's about 7.30, so I've been wearing this for almost eight hours. I will say that I still look very glowy, natural glowy, and I love that. That's probably one of the best perks of this foundation. Um, it just makes the skin look radiant and just beautiful. Um, so looking at my smile lines you can definitely see the creasing in my smile lines more so in this side than this side my brow lines are back you can definitely see it has definitely sunken into all my lines in my forehead that does not look cute <laughs> um yeah it just ugh, it, it does not look cute look can you see that yeah, you can see where it's like down in there. Ugh. If it didn't do this as bad as it does, I would actually say that this could be my number one foundation. Like I love the finish of this. I know I've said it like a million times, but it's true. Um, the color match has been a little bit iffy. I have a couple pictures to show you guys. I'm gonna insert them right here. So as you can see here, it looks like it matches. It's a perfect shade match. And this picture, you can definitely see that it doesn't match. And it's just, I'm kind of back and forth because when I'm at my car, I get like that orange line. Looking at it right now, um, it looks like a match. <laughs> so I don't really know what's going on with that. Um, you know even in direct sunlight um, it still looks like a match but the moment I get in my car it doesn't so I don't know <sighs> like I said this is kind of a love-hate love the finish love the way it makes my skin look it's just ugh, beautiful hate the creasing hate the creasing um, because I have had to, I told you within an hour, uh, I was already having creasing and it's just, yeah, I don't know. My other foundations that I have, I don't have this problem when it comes to my other foundations. So, uh, mm. I'm going to have to go ahead and go eat dinner real fast and then we will come back to my final thoughts. All right, so, um, hi. <laughs> All right, so now that it's nighttime, um, I brought my lights, of course, back out so I can finish filming. Uh, the creasing has been horrible. Um, I think towards the middle, it actually started to look really good, um, and I didn't have as many problems with it, but the beginning was terrible. The end was terrible when it comes to the creasing. I just don't think... Um, I think that's a deal breaker for me uh, not the even the fact that it creased because I mean I can take a little bit of creasing especially if it's like towards the end of the day but for it to crease as much as it did in the first hour and then as much as it did in the last hour it made my face look just aged I look aged because my lines here I mean I expect it to crease like I said but the way that it did it it just made it look so much worse than what it was. Um, so that is very, very frustrating for me because I really wanted to love this foundation. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills so much. Um, now the color, I was having a little bit of difficulty uh, debating if the color had actually oxidized on me. I know you guys saw pictures, one kind of like um, in my car, and then another one where it just looks like a absolute perfect match. I can actually say, sitting here back under my lights, um, I can tell that it did oxidize um, a little bit. You can definitely see, I don't know if I'm wondering. You can definitely see the color difference now. Um, so I don't even know if a lighter color would work. So I know in the beginning, um, when we were talking about uh, the colors, um, I did get 160, which is described as a cool 
um, fair golden undertone. I know I said that it was like a light, but it's actually fair. So I would have to move down into the very fair category. Um, but that might end up being too light for me. See, look, as I'm talking, it's even creasing even worse. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. But I think for me personally, um, this is just not going to be a foundation I'm going to gravitate towards. Okay, so bottom line, and I, I know you guys want to know, is would I recommend this foundation? Um, personally, I cannot. That, that actually pains me to say because I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I have a lot of their products and I really, really wanted this to be a win for me. Um, but it's not. And not in a bad way. Not like it's the worst foundation I have ever tried. It did this, it did that. That's not actually the case. It's not the worst foundation I've ever tried. It's definitely not the best. Um, I just think that the creasing is too much to deal with. Um, you are constantly worried about, oh my god, am I creasing again? I gotta, you know, fix it. And that's not something I want to worry about throughout the day. With it oxidizing on me, and went from being the absolute perfect shade match to not so much. I know I had showed you guys a little bit of the tissue. I actually had to kind of wipe away a little bit here because I had like orange on my neck and it just looked a little horrible. I at first thought that was the lighting, but um, it was not. <laughs> it was not. Because I can see it right now. I can definitely see it right now. Ugh. But as much as I love the brand, uh, I do have to be honest with you guys. I will always be honest with you. Um, I think there are better foundations out there. Um, you know, having to use as many pumps as I did, that really wasn't a big deal for me because I don't wear a foundation. Um, every single day so it tends to last longer for me no matter how much I use um yeah I don't know I'm a little bit bummed <laughs> I, I really wasn't expecting this I really was expecting to just come on camera and rave that this is so good you need to try it yes it's perfect but it's not oh it's not I don't know if anybody else is having this trouble um, I'm going to kind of start watching some reviews. Um, I really haven't been watching reviews because I didn't want, you know, I didn't want to be persuaded either way. Um, I wanted to kind of just form my own opinion. And, uh, yeah, I think I will be taking it back. <sighs> Oof, those are hard words to swallow. <laughs> so, guys... Um, I'm sorry this didn't work out, but if you guys did like this review, you like the info I provided you, then give this video a thumbs up before you go, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!